It's so you can have your points of view and your positions on these things, but don't try to piggyback on what I've always believed. I have always believed, as liberals do, for example, in a colorblind society that the goal is to not see race at all anywhere for any reason. Yes. That's what liberals always believed all the way through. Obama, going back, Kennedy, everybody, Martin Luther King. That's not what the woke believe. They believe race is first and foremost the thing you should always see everywhere, which I find interesting because that used to be the position of the Ku Klux Klan, that we see race first and foremost everywhere. Yeah. And there you have it. And he said it came out of his mouth, not mine. Before we dive into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you guys could please share so we can get the word out there. And here we have with Bill Maher on the Joe Rogan experience, just telling it like it is. The whole idea of liberals, liberalism is completely gone. It's so far left that you can't even see it anymore. And this is what he's pointing to. Everything has to do with race everything that you look at that's the way they view the world any kind of job any kind of anything they see through the lens of race and that's why they're so far gone the times of all this stuff and slavery and Jim Crow those times are gone and they just cannot let go of it and this is what he's hitting the nail on the head with all this you guys can feel that way I'm not with that I still back a lot of your policies is where he's coming from but he doesn't back this very soon they'll cast him out when there's nobody left to take care of and go after they'll start eating each other that's what all this is about i'll show you when the chips are down these uh these civilized people they'll eat each other they want you to believe with them 100%, and if you waver in any kind of way, they'll cast you out. They did the same thing with Joe Rogan. They, he's not no far-right Republican or anything like that, but they cast him out because he does not believe what they believe. He doesn't fall lockstep with everything that they're putting out. And this is what he's talking about with this whole message. I thought it was judge you by the content of your character, not your skin. What happened to all that? Is it Martin Luther King right now is rolling in his grave for what he's witnessing all this stuff going down this is what you guys fought so much for right equality all this stuff that's going on and you can see and I make this analogy all the time go to the park with kids you're trying to tempt me now <laughs> and you see they all play together doesn't matter what race they are they all all this racism and all this nonsense and equity and Jim Crow all that is taught to them through the parents they don't know none of that they are raised and that is put and instilled into them almost like a victimhood you're always you know if the police come and you're of this color they're coming to get you and they just program them like that no when the police come you just be respectful you didn't do nothing wrong you'll be fine that's the message that they should don't be trying to flee from the police and fight them off and all this other nonsense that's what they should be to but no it's all you're already a victim if they're pulling you over it has to be because the way you look it has nothing to do with you doing 140 in a school zone that's the that's the life that they want to live and they want to promote into into perpetuity this is it's almost like a boogeyman it will never come to an end the same thing all this stuff they believe in about the climate all, all this stuff it's a boogeyman it's a never ending that's why they push the racism and all there's a white supremacy it's forever going and there it will never have an end and you see they're orchestrating this everywhere not only with the military but with the airlines with the pilots they want diversity equity in the skies i could give less what the pilot looks like they could be black white jamaican they could be uh, haitian it does not matter as long as the plane takes off safe and land safely so nobody wants all this other stuff you're gonna have a, a people that are passing airline flight school with like a two percent success rate and that's what they're trying to put people to fly these planes no thank you I, I don't want that whatsoever I want somebody who is qualified I don't care about the color of their skin but this is the message that they put out but sooner or later Bill Maher talking this way any of the other people you go against and you don't follow in lockstep with everything that they're promoting they're going to just cast you out that's exactly what's going to happen to bill maher you'll see he keeps talking this way and how he doesn't agree with this and that they're going to get rid of him as well just like they've done many others
Donald Trump doesn't just live large. He lives, really, on top of the world. He is the American dream. <laughs> hey, Mr. Trump, hey, how you doing? I think personally, you know, Donald's a friend of mine. I just think he, just think he says it wrong. I think if he can reword some of the things he says and put it in business form, it'll really make sense. But Donald's like a straight up guy. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation. Is he hitting the nail right on the head or do you feel this is the way we should conduct everything? Let's look, first, let's look at the application. Okay, white, white, black. Okay, Samoan, okay, black right there. Okay, that's gonna be our number one pick. Well, this person has, uh, you know, all this history. This person's never even done this job before. No, it doesn't matter. They're black, that, that's who we're putting in. We need to get rid of that mentality, period. You interview everybody, whoever's the most qualified gets the job. That's the way that I would look at it or do you guys see it in some outlandish leftist crazy way that they want everybody to think of it as thank you guys for tuning in hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like subscribe and if you guys could please share and i will catch you guys on the next one